Hello, and welcome to your Simplified Coin Review. If you haven't joined us before, become a subscriber to our channel. We'd love for you to become part of our community here at BitBoy Crypto. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, make sure to click the bell so you get notifications when we post a new video. So today we're going to be looking at Electronium. It is coming in at number 104 on CoinMarketCap.com. It has often been in the top 100. It has slipped a little bit recently. Uh, it is a coin, so it's its own platform, and it is also mineable. It's pretty popular in the mining community. So the current price is 1.3 cents. Uh, it's down a little bit today. Of course, that doesn't really matter. It's only 205 Satoshis. So the market cap is coming in at almost $96 million. Circulating supply is uh, 7 billion electronium, and the max supply is 21 billion ETNs. So if we look at the chart here, we will look when it debuted, as you can see, the Satoshi value was very high. Uh, Electronium had a very big ICO sale. Uh, I watched some other YouTubers videos on Electronium uh, back when it was during the ICO uh, stage last year, right as the bull run was getting ready to start in November or as it was at its early stages. And this is one of the biggest ICOs in history. So much hype around it. People were really really amped up. So because the ICO sale was so successful, uh, it made the Satoshi value very high when it first started out. As you can see, the Satoshi value after the ICO was its all-time high. So not really sure what that says about the project. I think it just says that it had a really great ICO process. Uh, and we look when it peaked in US dollar value, it peaked at almost 20 cents. So right now it is down considerably from that and it has been on a pretty steady fall. Uh, it, 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 like I said, is around 1.3 cents. Uh, but, you know, one thing about Electronium is I think that it has a lot of potential. So don't let that necessarily discourage you. Okay, so let's go to the website. So what is Electronium? To put it simply, Electronium is trying to solve the issue of fast, aka instant payments, especially across mobile devices or using a point of sale type systems. So as you see here on the website, uh, coming soon to the App Store, I don't have an Android uh, device right now, so I, I have an iPhone and I'm gonna stick with it. I do like iPhone. I know some of you guys probably like Androids, but I'm an I'm a iPhone guy through and through. And uh, they already have, it's out for 40 languages on the Google Play or the Android Store. So unfortunately, I can't test this right now. However, this is a demo of what their wallet looks like. Uh, and as you can see here, it says Electronium, the mobile cryptocurrency. So designed for mass adoption, instant payments, patent pending. We're going to look at that here in a minute. App-based mobile mining, signed agreements with global mobile networks, provide a digital payment solution to the developing world and enables a new $3 trillion market. So the $3 trillion market is something they talk about consistently on here. And what they're trying to say is that basically like the gig economy. And what I mean by that is you do something for me and then you pay me money for it uh, mobily or uh, digitally instead of, you know, me sending you an invoice and you paying it with a credit card or sending me a check, whatever it might be. Now it's like, hey, I'll do this for you. Send me an instant payment. And we see this through. Uh, platforms such as Fiverr or Upwork. Obviously, that is a centralized way, or those are centralized companies that still are able to make sure that the payments happen and they offer protection and things like that. Well, Electronium is trying to do something similar, except for it is just straight peer to peer. So very exciting. So basically, they're talking here about the same thing I was just talking about, which as you can see here, I made a mistake. I said Android app was in 40 languages. It's actually in 20. But I want to highlight this part right here. So they have a mobile miner. This is another thing people really like about this project. Our unique mobile miner puts a small amount of ETN into the hands of users every day, providing market liquidity and driving viral growth. With over 1.6 million registered users, we have a faster viral growth than both Facebook and Twitter over the same time period. So very interesting. Like I said, it's only been around since November. They've already got 1.6 million users. They only have... Android going right now. So once they have iPhone uh, app out, you could expect that to also uh, grow. It's, it's exciting times in cryptocurrency, guys. It really is. We're really starting to see a lot of apps. Uh, you saw my video for the Ethos wallet I did. 
uh, that I got to test. That app is coming soon. We have the Art Wallet that is out. We have Dent that has their own app that's functioning. So we're starting to see these cryptocurrencies. I remember when I first started getting into altcoins last year, uh, as I've told you guys before, I've been in Bitcoin for a while, but only altcoins last year. And when I started getting into them, I was like looking for apps, cryptocurrency apps. And the only thing you get are third party apps. There were no cryptocurrencies that I could find that were offering their own app, but we're starting to see it happen. So just very exciting, guys. Uh, and Electronium, aside from having that app on the way, they've got some other, you know, pretty interesting things coming up that we'll look at uh, here in just a second. So they have their roadmap. Uh, it shows what they've already done by 2019, their first quarter goals. Uh, we'll skip down to quarter three and beyond because that's where we're, we're heading towards right now. Uh, three million live users is what they want. Launching instant payment. They want to launch vendor API to allow easy cryptocurrency acceptance. Launch community app and launch, launch gig economy website and launch vendor directory. So basically within their app, they want to have a gig economy website. We've looked at some others such as Parachute that are like social media apps that also have a gig economy part of what it's trying to do as well. So this is going to be, it's going to be part of Electronium, but it's going to be a separate website. So it's going to almost, it's going to be like a decentralized version of Upwork or Fiverr is what I would assume it's going to be. So that's one thing they're definitely going to work on. And then they're going to be launching the vendor directory. So big things coming for Electronium, but they actually just had some big news come out uh, just this week on June 15th. So they are announcing their instant payment beta vendor application. So the first thing I thought when I watched this video is it reminds me of what Pundi X was trying to do. And you know, I love Pundi X so much. I really love what they're trying to do. And they're specifically in Southeastern Asia. Uh, they are expanding and want to put their devices other places. Electronium is a uh, British project. It is from England. Uh, a lot of their team that we'll look at are from England. So Basically, Pundi X can do what it's doing in the southeastern part of the world, and Electrum can do what it's doing. And, you know, we don't have to have just one solution for taking these payments. I mean, look, you've got Stripe, you have Square, uh, you have PayPal in a way that I don't, I don't know if they have actual devices. But, you know, I think that, that we need lots of these projects working on ways to accept cryptocurrency. It's going to help us with adoption. So Electronium is trying to do that. Let's watch this video. I'm going to speed it up. So uh, it's a minute and 50 seconds long, but we're going to watch it. I think it's very important to understand what they're trying to do with these instant payments. Uh, but like I said, I'll double the speed. So as you guys can see, just like very similar to Pundi X, what they're doing with a receipt machine, a point of sale system. So I think their instant payment process here is pretty cool. I like what they're doing. Um, I think once again, it's just going to come down to adoption and will stores actually use this? Will people decide that they want to accept cryptocurrency and why would they do that? Because the people demand it. So that's why it's so important. If there is a way for you to start spinning your crypt cryptocurrency, it'll be very interesting to see if different businesses are able to adopt the electronium system so let's look at the team richard ells is a pretty well-known person uh specifically in england uh he has as it says here he's got a story of founding a ton of different businesses you might know him from site wizard he's also uh you know produced a social media management tool and he's a really solid person on this team so i have looked into this team quite a bit and the general consensus is this is a very solid team. There's some people that are very well known in the digital space in England. And a lot of people vouch and say that, you know, these people really know what they're doing. And it seems to show, obviously, with such a successful ICO, that doesn't happen by luck. So let's check out their Twitter. 
As you can see here, they have 126,000 followers on Twitter, much larger than most of the projects that we look at, which is interesting because this is down at number 104, and yet it's got a lot of people interested in it. Um, and, you know, they seem to be tweeting pretty much every day, which I always like to see. We have the Reddit community. It's got 20,000 members, which is also a pretty substantial amount for a project in the 100 uh, level. Uh, as you can see here, someone is selling some Electronium yoga pants. So if you're into that kind of thing, here, you can get them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think that uh, Electronium seems to have a very strong community. People are really passionate about it. There are YouTubers that all they talk about is Electronium. So I was really glad to be able to look into this project and to see it for what it was because, honestly, I didn't know much about it, but I had seen it. I'd seen a lot of YouTube videos with, you know, Electronium in the thumbnail. People have been asking me about it in the comment section and honestly didn't know anything about it. So I don't, you know, I'm learning just like you guys are. That's that's part of what this fun journey on the channel is about is I don't know every single cryptocurrency. I, I, I think I saw this comment on Twitter and it really irritated me. It said, oh, if, if you're trying to get advice from somebody who, you know, doesn't know every single top 100 coin on CoinMarketCap, then they don't know what they're talking about. I'm like, how can you how can you know every single coin on Coin Market Cap, the top 100? Like, you would literally have to dedicate your life to doing research because guess what? They change all the time. So what? There are some that were in there today, such as Docademic, that wasn't in there yesterday. So I just think that you know it's really important to learn as much as you can about all these different cryptocurrencies. I thought Electronium was a scam. I don't know why I thought that. I had seen it somewhere, seen somebody maybe make a tweet about it, or I can't even remember. Maybe it was had to do with how the ICO was so great, and then now the price has fallen so far. But of course, so is everything else. But I was really pleasantly surprised when I looked at this. I think this actually seems like it could be a very strong project. It's going to depend on the adoption. It's going to depend on, like, they can make the best digital processing machines, the best point-of-sale system but if no one uses it, then what is it worth? Absolutely nothing. So I, I think we will have to see. And you know, this is the bad thing about launching something right in the beginning of a bull run is it gives you kind of a false evaluation of where you're at because you launch and then you just go straight up. But then you come crashing back down to earth when the bear market starts. And, you know, people were probably really excited about this and like, oh, we got to learn how to take cryptocurrency. And then when the price dropped and Bitcoin crashed, Nobody seems to care anymore. It's going to be hard for me to see this project really going that much further just because people aren't using cryptocurrency and something like this is going to depend on that use in order to be successful. So, but I do think that the good news is the next bull run that we have, or maybe it's the one after that, there will be adoption that comes with it. There will be more mainstream use case that comes with it. And then once that happens, it's like the level for how far we can go down will raise up even higher. So instead of being able to go down to the 6,000 level, hopefully we'll, you know, the first we'll go is the 15 or $16,000 level with Bitcoin. And what that means is even at its lowest, people are still going to be interested in using it, which is what Electronium needs. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I think that there's a lot of good stuff to like about this. I've mentioned a few negative things having to do with just is dependent upon adoption. It's all, the ICO went really well. I think it gave it a false valuation of what it was during the bull run. But other than that, I think this is a really solid project. I was really glad to look into it and to learn about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, become part of our community here at BitBoy Crypto. We would love for you to join us regularly. And until next time, that was your Simplified Coin Review.